RealAgriculture.com's coverage of the Canfax Market Forum is brought to you by Canfax. Well, that's that's been the question for the last couple of years. I, I think we're slowly making our turn towards uh, growing the herd. Uh, we've seen tremendous uh, cutback in, in, in cull cow marketings. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to interpret the numbers this year just due to the closure of the lakeside plant <clears throat> Sorry, and, and the lack of cows being uh, processed this fall. But uh, overall, we're seeing heifer retention pick up a little bit, uh, lower marketings. It's basically a stable cow herd. We're still calling for that, but there will be, uh, or potentially will be, a slight uh, uptick in cow numbers or breeding stock uh, in 2013. Well, it's it's certainly been positive. You know, it was a whole unfortunate event that happened there at XL Foods, but uh, you know, after them, you know, after the closure, not not really they were looking for a partner and somebody else to uh you know help with with the plant it's certainly been very positive for the market you know to have at least getting the plant even going again you know there's there's excess capacity in the industry of of slaughter plants so you want to make sure that we at least have our two to uh, keep operating and they've stepped up and are and are doing that right now uh and and yeah overall very positive for the industry do you think the hangover is finished from this whole no, there, there's still uh, no. It's still uh, it's still ongoing. It's you know there's it's it's there's several dynamics to the impacts it's having. But you know basically you know JBS is there, but it's still not fully operational. Uh, they're still actually you know working on paperwork to get product to move south into the U.S. So no, there's still uh, there's still lingering effects of of that uh, recall and. Uh, and the implications on the market and you know there, there's some of the hangover parts or you know it, it's also brought another level of of maybe caution to the industry and some longer term again uh, you know just keeping in mind that these kind of issues are always uh, you know to be aware of and uh, you know something that the, the industry needs to monitor so you know and, and we in part of that could be you know somewhat of a positive impact that uh, you know we know these things are going to happen and being prepared for that kind of issue so um, but no, we'll see, uh, it'll take a little bit more time and hopefully they can get, you know, ramped up full capacity and, and shipping to the U.S., but that's still yet to come. Yeah, and, and the longer term, I think, in the lasting side, I think it's more of a, it's a bump in the road or uh, it's one of the small hurdles. The industry's been through a lot of bigger issues uh, and I, I think they'll work their way through it. Um, you know, looking back over time, we've seen basis shifts like this and pricing impacts uh, in almost regular markets. So obviously it affected some sh feedlots in the short term more so, but, uh, you know, on the other side, you know, it brings to light some of the consumer and supply chain uh, things that everybody needs in the industry needs to be aware of. These things are, you know, they're always, we always run these risks at all times. So it just brings that back to light and, and hopefully we can learn some things from this uh, event. <laughs>